Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for watching as always. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. Now I had um, I had a comment or a, a recommendation um, and it was to try from one of the subscribers, so thank you for that. And it was to try Creative Golf 3D. So <clears throat> that's what we're gonna do today. I've installed the demo version. So there is a demo version on their website you can download and it works with FlightScope, um, SkyTrack and GC2 and stuff like that. Um, the Foresight ones. Um, I've installed it on my Mac um, using Boot Camp. Now there is some really good instructions on the Creative Golf 3D exactly how you do it. And that's what I did. I just followed those instructions and it worked. Yeah, we'll just give it a go and, and see how good it is. Okay, so we've loaded up Creative Golf. What we'll do is we'll have a practice first to get warmed up. So there's a practice facility here. You've got driving rings, team training, club fitting, chip and putt. So we'll just go onto the driving range for a minute. Um, do you probably what we should do before we do that is let's just go into the settings, flight scope setup, um, short indoor, distance to T, altitude is zero. Okay, okay, that looks good. Let's go back. So we'll go practice, driving range, pin distance. Let's set it to. Which I wonder, can we change it to? Ah. Yards, there we go. So there's lots of different settings there for yards, etc. So we'll do a 150. Uh, so yeah, it's got it's got lots of different uh, options on the range, which is good. Um, so we're using a Callaway Chrome Soft with a metallic dot. Um, we did the action mat today. Obviously the flight scope me though. So player one. Let's find right handed. Oh that's cool. So you're actually in a, a bay. Looks like you can um, 2D dispersion views, player stats. Okay and then iron wise I think you just put it in iron mode. Yeah, so putting, driver and wood, iron. Okay, so I've got eight irons. Nice hit. That's cool, you get the <coughs> distance. So that's gone a fair way. In the top left, you get the, uh, you can hold that, so it's just like the, the E6 range. Um, and there you go, you've got your stats at the top, 106 miles per hour, 22 degree, 4,000 spin, shot distance and yards. Um, that's cool, so player stats. Okay, so you can go in, you see your stats there, that's cool. And you can delete shots as well. And you can print it out, which is cool. Um, 2D version. Okay, so again, like the flight scope, you can see uh, the height and the apex and stuff like that. Back to the 3D view. Okay, you can change the colour. That's cool. Let's go for pink, shall we? Um, let's hit another. That's cool. So you can change the shot. Shot tracer. We'll bang on the 150 there. So I would say from first look, the um, I really like the graphics. Um, you can see the, the windmill moving in the background. Have you got the blimp at the top? You've got a bird flying there and, and the trees move as well. Um, some birds coming across. So definitely better than the iPad. Again, this is running off. I'll put the specs of my Mac. It's, it's you know, it's not uh, that high spec. And they do say, you know, you don't have to have, you don't have to run it in high spec. Um, cool. So let's hit another one. Let's change the colour again. You can see the difference. We'll go for red this time. I quite like the, it's, you know, like you're in a bay as well at, at the range, which is quite cool. That was fat. Similar. Maybe come up a little short, yeah. Okay, 
Yeah, let me know if you use this. I've noticed on some of the Facebook group, a lot of people are using the, the software and they really like it. Um, yeah, I'll obviously have any been on the range, but I like the stats in the top left as well, so you can have a quick comparison. That's that's really cool, actually. You can see your last shots. That's a better hit. Lower. So that's gone quite far, I would have thought. Yeah, it's a lovely hit. So again, I've got this elevation set to zero. You can change that. The dot facing the screen. Let me know what you think. I must admit, I'm very impressed, seeing as it's not even running off a gaming laptop. Do I have no experience with that as well? So going from the iPad, I thought the iPad was really good, which it is, but this is the next level up, and I'm assuming the uh, you know the gaming PC laptop with with a, with a decent graph decent graphics card would be even better again. Oh that's a nice one. Oh, it's going a bit choppy there, so that's my MacBook struggling a little bit. I have got it set set to the highest setting, so you can run a test at the start. Uh, and that's gone very choppy, that. So it might be that I need to just put down the settings slightly. I am recording the screen at the same time, so if that's having an effect. Let's call 5,000 spin, 113. Change the, uh, yeah, my MacBook is actually going slow. The orange, just when I move in the mouse there. But I really like how the, the color changes and you can see uh, the stats up there. So if you're playing, so I often um, <clears throat> come on the range, definitely warming up with my mates, my dad when they come over. So that's cool, you can change the players so you can see your stats against his. I mean, you probably do that on E6, but I haven't done it. Right, that's cool. That little hot air balloon up there. That's a nice hit. Okay, there you go. So, what I'll do is I'll do I'll do separate videos for each. And for each one, so that's the range. Uh, would you? Oh, there you go. So you get a maximum. That's right. Um, was that eight shots? Yeah. I'll put I'll put it up in the description what you get um, during the trial. I think it's eight shots and it kicks you back out. I think that was eight. We'll have to, to redo it. Um, okay. Thanks for watching guys. That was a very quick glimpse of uh, Creative Golf 3D on the practice driving range. Um, very impressed, I thought it was brilliant. Um, the graphics just off the, the MacBook were far superior than the than the iPad. Um, so I see what people are saying now. A lot of people comment saying, oh, the iPad isn't that great. Um, because that's all I've been used to, it's okay. But now I've stepped up to this, it's definitely better running off the PC, or off the Mac. Um, so yeah, I'd imagine gaming PC would be, you know, a next level again. Um, but yeah, for the price point, again, I'll put the price down below. I think it's really good. Um, definitely consider it. Um, I'm in that sort of bit of the minute where I'm sort of, what do I go for? Do I go for Creative, th creative Golf 3D? Um, or do I look at E6 or obviously TGC? I like the look of because, because of all the courses. But let me know what you're playing. Um, hope that helped a little bit. Um, stay tuned for the next video. I will play the, the free course uh, you get. Uh, we'll play a few holes so you can see what the actual gameplay is like. But definitely I like the range. I like those features that I explained with the change in the color and how you see your stats at the top left. I thought was was really good. So. Um, so far so good but stay tuned for the next video as always thank you for watching um, and please do consider hitting that subscribe button let's see you in the next video